So within the past hour, an interview about Dan Snyder on the Wall Street Journal just broke, and people are reacting to it on Twitter. Uh, the title of the article from the Wall Street Journal is Dan Snyder tries to end an era of NFL scandal with a progressive pivot, a diverse front office, a gender-neutral dance team, his wife as the new co-CEO, which was just announced. Snyder, the owner of the Washington football team, speaks out on his bid to fix a franchise plagued by internal problems. Hmm. The bigger question is, are you believing in all of these culture changes that have allegedly started to take place? Or is he being forced Ashford? to do it? Yeah, but doesn't matter. I, I, I might be taking a minority opinion here. Mm -hmm. I don't know because I'm going to say first. Do I believe in the moves? Yes. So he's made some of these moves already, right? You guys went out to dinner with Jason Wright. Mm -hmm. I didn't meet him personally, we but did. he made the move to bring in Jason Wright to mm -hmm. be the president. He's made the moves to do what you just said, a gender neutral uh, cheerleading squad mm -hmm. or dance team, whatever you want to call it. Yep. These moves are in place. So right now from the organization, I think those are all positive steps. Now, whether or not he was forced at gunpoint to do it, it doesn't really matter because if you think it's a good move and if you believe in the person like Jason Wright, who's become the president, then it's a good move. doesn't matter why because the person's in place to do that job. Um, so what about making his wife co-CEO? Now, what, what's that like, move I don't for? know what that means. Now, also within the article, I saw somebody tweet out some of these laws or whatever. He claims he's only been to the office. It was like, I, I don't have the number right in front of me, but it was less than 250 days in like a seven or eight year span. Yeah. So what does CEO really mean on a team when you're the owner slash CEO? I don't know what that really means. Like, it doesn't seem like he's been that involved. Maybe he's going to be more involved, which is not necessarily a good thing. Like we've all, we've always wanted him to be less involved. <laughs> right. Yeah. So saying that you're going to be more involved or CEO, I don't know. Um, according to Adam Schefter, the Washington football team announced that Tanya Snyder, his Dan Snyder's wife has been named co-CEO. She'll join her husband um, and look forward to unveiling a new name and brand for the next era of Washington football. I don't think it's a terrible thing. Well, what if it means that eventually he's out and then she takes over as sole owner? I mean, if he died, she would take over anyway. Yeah, I know. But who knows? I, I don't know. It's just very interesting when you make your wife co-CEO. I don't know her business background. I don't know anything, but... And, and again, I don't know what the hell the CEO of the football team does. Like the GM runs the personnel side and you've got all these different people in positions, director of player personnel, college scouting, all those sort of things. Like what is he involved with? Well, whatever he's involved with, I, don't, I guarantee you people don't trust it. <laughs> Fans do not trust right, whatever he's involved there's with. There's 20 plus years of, Bad, bad will, moves. Bad will that's been built up and poor results on the field. So, of course, people are going to be skeptical at this at this point. Yeah. You need to see sustained winning on the field. You need to see, you know, better execution in the front office. You need to see, you know, a few years without uh, sexual harassment claims popping up left and right, like were obviously happening, you know, within the past few years. What he yeah. claims he, within the article in the article, and it's a Wall Street Journal article. It's Correct. a long article. But they point out that it was October of 2019, months before the team was drowning in controversy, when Snyder says the first wake-up call came. Over and over, he heard a clip from a press conference held by then-team president Bruce Allen, in which Allen was asked what he thought of the team's culture. As we all know, Allen said it was damn good. The team was 0-5 and had just fired its head coach, Snyder loved the question because he disagreed with the answer. This is a quote from the owner who we never hear from, Daniel Snyder. His quote was, and whether you can chime in at 806. But he says, at that very moment, it triggered, hey, we've got to fix our culture. So what Snyder is claiming is that that was kind of a defining moment for him and the franchise. Right. He's claiming he wasn't involved really for seven years. So, Basically, what he's trying to say is, I just let Bruce Allen do it. I showed up to the office, you know, every once in a while. 
like I said, it was something like 250 days in seven years, so it wasn't often. <laughs> right. Okay, so right. he's showing up to the office every once in a while. He's giving it to Bruce Allen. And then at that moment, Bruce Allen, we, are, we already all knew he was a clown, mm -hmm. but to, Snyder realized, this dude's a clown. We're 0-5, <laughs> and he's saying we have a damn good culture. Right. And what he's claiming, and this is, again, 800-636-1067, do you believe him? He's saying at that moment, he said we got to fix our culture, well, maybe, and since then he's been doing it. Maybe he's, that was the epiphany but, for him. What? Because look, as insulated and as weird as he's been over the twenty years plus that he's owned the team, he knows that the, the the results on the field. He knows that he's taken a hallowed institution in the Wash, then the Washington and, and ruined it, and he's driven them into the side of a mountain. Yeah, they've become a laughing stock under his. I hesitate to use this word. His stewardship has not been good. And maybe he maybe he did realize when when Bruce Allen you know answered that question that was posted by Pete Haley by the way mm. um, he realized hey we're we're in a real bad state here I can't continue down this path that I'm on because look at what where it's brought us so far yeah maybe maybe he maybe that is the real wake up call and he realizes hey I have to defer to others I have to bring in some different voices and different faces well to maybe the front office. look bringing in Rivera and his entire staff, there is a, a, a huge difference. I've Absolutely. heard there's a huge difference right. over there. But was Snyder doing this because of the public pressure and maybe the threat of the the league forcing him to sell? I'm sure that's part of it. Maybe also or I, is he doing it for the right reasons? I, we don't know. I mean, you, you never trust him. So why would you trust I would this? Think, I would think, I don't know if I trust it either, but I would think that Snyder eventually just says to himself, I'm just sick of losing every year. I'm sick of this team being a laughing stock and me being the head of it mm -hmm. and people hating my guts because of what this team has become. But it's possible. It's possible that he's telling the truth. Now sure. I understand be. there's a history of, you know, a, a terrible franchise and credibility issues. I understand that there's mm -hmm. that history, but if you take him at his word, he's kind of saying, look, Maybe I had this epiphany. I had to realize that to fix things in myself, I need to get more involved, which I know is scary to a lot of people. But if you believe him, and I'm not saying I necessarily do, he's saying all of kind of this stuff, the bad culture with the harassment at the workplace, the cheerleaders, all of those things were because he was so uninvolved and he let it go because he just didn't kind of know. Hmm. That's at least his excuse, right? His excuse is, you know what? I wasn't really there. Right. Uh, the workplace, yes, it's embarrassing. There's lawsuits and all this stuff. But, um, but you can't now, just, but again, you can't. I'm going to be more involved with my wife. What I'd say is, again, to, to Jason's question, does it really matter the why if things are better? You know what I mean? Like, let's say you were a hazardous driver. All right? And you could either have Cake, no cakes is a hazardous. You're a hazardous driver. driver. I'm a silly driver. <laughs> you're a hazardous driver. You sped. You always drove like 100 miles an hour to get home as fast as you can. I never do that. And then when you had a kid, you realized I can't do this because I don't want to risk dying. So all of a sudden, you became a safe driver. Or you had a DUI and you realized I can't do it because I get arrested. Whatever. Does the why really matter if you became a safe driver? Uh, I see where you're going, but. The why probably doesn't matter because he's making the changes and maybe the changes eventually improve everything over there. But you just never trust anything he says. Like when he says he was only at Redskins Park for how many days? What did he say? Uh, let me punch up. I don't, the exact I don't know day. if I believe that. I don't believe it. He's got he's, no, he's got no he, credibility. He's got the history of being a bad person in Ashburn mm -hmm. and out of Ashburn. So that's what I would say to that. This is what is called a puff piece. And I agree with what Tom <laughs> Lavero well said. Tom Lavero said, well, that's how you get an interview with Dan Snyder. Right. You make him look really great. He has no credibility. This whole th thing with his, his lipstick on a pig. He's a bad guy. Everyone knows he's a bad guy. Sure. And he's in cover his ass mode right now because everyone's gunning for him, wants to remove him from the team because of things that he has allegedly done as the owner or, team, uh, uh, or the toxic environment of that place. And... Uh, I, I, don't, don't be fooled by uh, a thousand word interview with him oh, on the think, Wall Street I don't Journal. Think all of a sudden, he's a new Dan Snyder just because no. he's made some changes. Yeah, to I the don't think anybody really trusts anything he says. I think he's I, still a weasel. 
I just think that core. I wonder what the motivation to hiring his wife as co-CEO really is. Why didn't he do that well, you know, it, it, five I, years I, ago? I, personally, I think it just deflects attention away from him. He's putting her out yeah, there. There's got to be a to reason he's some, doing this. To take some of the bullets. Well, the away reason from him. is because of all the uh, sexual harassment claims. Eh, it could go deeper than that. I think it could go deeper than that. Um, but that's probably part of it, no doubt. He's he's just doing this. Oh, look, look over here. Right, I'm shiny, hiring all these yeah. women. Right. Yeah, look look yeah. how progressive I am. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Look at Fifty-five-year-old men don't change. They are who they are, and we've seen them for twenty years. He's a rotten person. Yeah, he ain't great. I'll tell you that. Your draft's going hard. Hard no, against I, old Dan Snyder. I'm, I'm, I, I, JP, I think, and, and you are maybe a little bit fooled by this. Uh, or no, maybe, no, I maybe, said, maybe, I said maybe that Case I did, is fooled by, no, no. by a, a possibly a fun football team to watch. By the way, I said I didn't, necessarily, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't necessarily believe it, but I do think he's hired good people. So he may be a rotten apple, but I think he has made some good by moves. By the way, I think if if – this team had been winning over the past 20 years, you're not going to see everything that he's getting grilled for magnified the way it is if this team's winning Super Bowls. Now, I'm not discounting the fact that you can't have a workplace like that and continue down that road because you're going to face a thousand lawsuits from women who are getting you know, mistreated at yep. the workplace. Yep. Yep. But had they won two or three Super Bowls under his watch, you're not going to see all these stories coming to light. So JP's point is he doesn't trust really anything that Dan says, but since he did hire these people, it, it, they could have been good hires. Sure. Now, now who knows what the motivation is? We think that the motivation is uh, because he's trying to cover his, his steps from mm -hmm. the past 20 years um, or his missteps. But, you know, hiring Rivera could have been a really good move. We'll see. Hiring Jason Wright could be a really good move. We'll see. This draft think I'm won over by a Wall Street Journal puff piece. By the way, I'm a, I said I'm, maybe. I, 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 draft thinks I'm a rube. By the way, I'm a little I'm offended. By the way, I'm a little suspicious of this that this was farmed out to the Wall Street Journal and none of the local reporters ah. did this puff piece. Mm, interesting. That kind of raises a red flag with me. Right. That all the local reporters really know who he is. Right. Couldn't, couldn't write but, the I mean, puff Drabby, piece. You, mm. you know nobody trusts Snyder in town. Nobody does. Well, nobody yeah. really knows him. Yeah. Well, they know, you know, they know his work. He does, well, you, you know sure. enough. What if he has, though, and again, I'm kind of making this as, as a devil's advocate, but remember a few weeks ago there was that TMZ video that we talked about? And it was a rare moment where he seemed well, like he a regular Jason, guy. He and Jason Wright? Right. Yeah, I know, was, but he was on camera. He was probably lying yeah, the that, whole time. Then he was stumbling and bumbling because he, he couldn't put a coherent sentence together, and then Jason Wright had to save him. <laughs> he had to swoop in and save the day. Yeah. Because Dan Snyder's shock or uncomfortable. I didn't put too in, much stock into that. In public situations. It's, look, it's rare that you see Dan Snyder on TMZ Sports. I get it. Yeah. But I, I didn't put too much stock into that. Right. It's like a unicorn sighting. You're not going to see that very often. Yeah. Because I know he's a totally different person than he was on camera. Yeah.